I'm sure you have a point, but yeah. uh, to, to just talk about, uh, we'll be coming to the proposals because there's the question about the raising the VAT to 16%, yeah. um, uh, coming down to the turn of a tax on uh, businesses. And uh, when you mathematically do that sum, it's making 1,400 1, Kenya shillings a day, which is now the the hustler part of the demography who had catapulted the president to power and he said shouldn't be overtaxed. But talk to me about the question about taxing here and uh, the bracket within which how many Kenyans do pay that. We have just above 3 million Kenyans mm -hmm. who are in the formal system of taxation. And how, how will the government then turn their attention to the, other, to the flip end of the coin and look at the informal sector because it accounts for more than 80% or 87% of uh, the country. Yet when you look at the taxation regime that targets them, mm -hmm. it isn't as those who are salaried. So therefore, what, the gov what can the government do in its plan to project our revenue streams to target the informal sector and as well get the taxes it requires to fund projects in the country? Um, thank you, Ayub. And I think, um as you've rightfully pay, said, at a glance it looks like our salaried or employed uh, citizens seem to be the ones in the radar and paying more tax to, to, to run the country. Um, when we had the previous budget... Yes, proceed, proceed. Okay. Mm -hmm. During our, uh, the last budget, that is 2022-2023, there was a lot of outcry about uh, our borrowing. Mm -hmm. And uh, like you rightfully said, we have just about 400 billion yeah. to reach the ceiling. So the move by the government to ensure that we collect more local revenue, um, I believe is to manage this so that there's less borrowing yeah. and we are able to raise our own resources. This may appear painful. Of course, you've said our salaried um, citizens seem to be um, the focus. Uh, but I think there've been initiatives that ensure that the government also reaches these other people in terms of um, like um, the, the turnover tax that you've talked about. Mm -hmm. um, that would also ensure that the small or SME or the people who are not in formal employment um, contribute yeah. to the tax um, um, basket. We also have cases of, um, I mean, the rental income tax. Yeah. Um, which I think for the longest time um, landlords have gotten away with not paying taxes. This has also um, been, I mean, there's been a move to ensure that our, our landlords are, are going to be paying tax and contributing to the same. But overall, looking at uh, the tax that every Kenyan pay in terms of consumption, yeah. the consumption tax, I mean, when we all go to buy items, including the, the, the increase in the VAT that we probably are, are feeling is a pain at this point. And um, I, I could say there's a bit of immense information about it. Um, this would also ensure that everybody, in one way or the other, contributes to the tax that the government is trying to collect, majorly on the cons consumption aspect. And this is where there's the loudest outcry, because um, citizens feel the pinch Citizens are feeling the pain, yeah. but at the end of the day, <clears throat> I think this is the government's way of just ensuring that everybody is within um, yeah. the, the, the tax paying yeah. uh, bracket. Okay. Otherwise, the focus majorly has been on those who are employed, but they've made um, moves, they've made attempts to just ensure that everybody mm -hmm. is contributing. Okay. Yeah. Uh, when you're coming to you, it's a case of uh, um, 